Ugh. Parks in America are so boring. These are supposed to be recreational spaces where people can get away from the hustle and bustle of urban living. Where's all the heart and soul? Did bureaucracy get in the way of your imagination, America? Well, today we're about to visit Incheon Grand Park. I hope that name isn't just clickbait, because I've had enough disappointment for one lifetime. Well, one good thing is this cool mural we found near our Airbnb. The day's looking promising so far. Today, we need to catch a bus to get to our destination. But right next to the bus stop is this shop that sells wooden sculptures. Man, there's something not right about these. Oh yuck, that's just gross. Oh good, the bus came. I can stop shielding my children's innocent eyes. Okay guys, we're here at Incheon Grand Park. So let's go inside and see what it's all about. Believe it or not, but this 727 acre park was established in 1992. The parking is 2,000 won for compact vehicles and 4,000 won for full-size cars. This is our first time here, but this entrance already gives us the feeling of a theme park. I can tell we'll find a lot of interesting things to do today. Wow, look at all the cherry blossom. When we were in Japan, we completely missed the cherry blossom season. But being here definitely makes up for it. Whew, such a nice day today. A little bit warm. Cold in the morning, but warming up. Right in front of me is this nice fountain. By the look of this fountain, I can tell that they maintain the facilities well. If this was California, that fountain would look like a disgusting swamp. In fact, our water features seem to be shooting up this mysterious greenish blue goo. And can you believe people catch fish in here? I'm surprised no one's turned into the Toxic Crusader. Or have they? Cherry blossom season is about to end, but we still got a few blooms here falling. Wow, and look at all the cool sculptures. I only ever see this at fancy art museums. With the rapid urbanization of Incheon, the city planners dreamed up a space that would strike a balance between recreation and environmental preservation. So lo and behold, Incheon Grand Park was born. And the area we're currently at is called Lover's Square. And uh, there's a ton of photo opportunities right nearby the lake. And these stairs make a design. Oh, it's a heart. <laughs> it says love. And then when you look at this one, is that, is that another heart? Oh yeah. That's cool. And for those love birds out there, here's a ring. See, it looks like a boat. If you take it from a certain spot, and then it shows all the design. But you gotta stand at a certain angle. Look, it's the second time I proposed to my wife. I know, I'm a romantic. I can't help it. I was born this way. Another Asian carp. Look at all the Asian carp in there. I think people feed them, they, like throw something in and they eat it. They sure look super hungry. Here, yeah, I had to bribe our kids with almonds to be good. I say, ah. This lake is man-made, but it looks so natural. And everywhere we went, there were cherry blossoms. And nearby the lake was a bike rental station. I figured it would be the best way to see the entire park quickly. I looked at the map and the place was huge. But little did I know that the bike trail only traverses a quarter of the entire place. Dylan has been doing about 90 to 80 percent of the riding and now he's super tired. And rental for one of these in my bike right here is um, 10,001 for this for one hour and 2001 for this bike. We just returned the bikes. It was a nice ride, a good exercise. My thighs are burning. Hungry now. It's time to get some hot dogs. On the way to the restaurant, we passed through this exhibition space. They were doing a flower exhibit. And of course, they made everything look super cute. The miniature hanoks were a nice touch to the beautifully arranged flowers. 
and at the other end were these two Korean folk dancers who had resting female dog face. The day was half over and we only scratched the surface. Anyways, we were ready to eat some corn dogs at BHC Chicken and GS25. In this building, the BHC Chicken and GS25 was attached to the hips. GS25 is a convenience store that has over 13,899 retail locations across Korea and hundreds of stores overseas. It's known for having the largest variety of snacks and beverages. They also have exotic collaborations that make customers want to come back for more. On this day, we decided to try the popular Korean mixed drink trend. This is where you buy a cup of ice and mix different drinks into it. We purchased the blue lemon and milkies for this taste test. And BHC Chicken is a popular South Korean fried chicken joint, known for their different sauces. Kind of makes me think of Chick-fil-A back in the States. And although I could've got some chicken, I was really craving some corn dogs with french fries. First, let's find out how our drinks taste. The interesting thing is that these cups of ice are all prepackaged. You're supposed to purchase these bags to pour in, but you can technically put any beverage in there. And now for the milkies. I grew up with milkies. It's basically carbonated milk soda. Very delicious. Okay, I'm going to give my oldest the first swig. Great, a thumbs up. Now let's see how it tastes. Oh, good. Refreshing. I got a few snacks to go with the drink. It's like a little Pikachu. Time to eat one. Mmm, chocolatey. And crispy. Oh man, these corn dogs and fries look tasty. I don't usually eat like this, but we're in Korea. I've got to live a little, right? It is what it is. Let's see how these french fries taste from this place. Mmm, sweet. It's sweet and savory. I'm gonna put some kind of powder. Just put some kind of powder on top. That has a sweetness to it. And the fries itself is like a seasoned fry. Mm. Mm, good. Delicious. Now, let's see if these corn dogs are any good. I'm not gonna lie, my mouth is watering editing this. Overall, everything was super delicious. Love it. So, when it's all said and done, this actually becomes three drinks because you, you fill this up three times. So, for $5, that's a pretty good deal. By the way, this is Korea, so you need to separate your trash or else. Okay, that was a nice filling meal. All fried food though. So we're gonna walk off the calories. We were here on a weekday and the park looked so peaceful. Just a bunch of elderly folks waiting for their great demise. And my son decided to get some cubing practice near these embarrassment of pandas. No, really. A group of pandas is called an embarrassment. We found a nice little trail. Easy trail for the kids. Super, super nice day. Got a cool breeze. It's not hot. And a lot of cherry blossoms falling down. Where we're at right now is one of several forests at Incheon Park. On the hiking trails, watch out for areas where you can get off the beaten path. I can imagine that this is probably what Korea looked like a long time ago. It's so cool to be able to take my kids and explore nature in another country. We are truly blessed. And the further we went, the more gorgeous it got. This walk gets more and more beautiful. And at the children's forest, be on the lookout for this boardwalk. It's a great spot to do some bird watching. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a crane right there. Wow. If I had a park like this near my house, I'd stroll through it every opportunity I could. Other activities at the park are various sports fields and courts, an arboretum, the Inchon Grand Park Rose Garden, and playgrounds. You can also book a campsite but couldn't find information on how to do that. 
They even have a cool museum called the Environmental Future Hall. This is where guests can learn about pollution and the way the city is tackling the issue. Finally, the park has a small children's zoo. We didn't get to visit it, but that just gives us a reason to come back. We were now ready to go home. I've never been in Korea during the spring. It's my first time. And we ended up finding a playground at the far end, the south end of Incheon Grand Park. We had a long day here at uh, Incheon Grand Park. We're gonna have to do a round two. It's a big place. Overall, I wouldn't say this park is a must-see, but if you're in the area and have a day to spare, I would definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed these videos, here's some more suggestions. On this channel, I produce entertaining educational travel content, and if that's your thing, please consider subscribing. And with that, I'll see you on the next Pixix adventure.